All right, today we're going to talk about how to read veneer calipers and micrometers. Today we're just going to do the veneer calipers. Uh, this here is a one zero to one inch micrometer, and which reads in this one actually reads in one ten thousandths of an inch. And this is a veneer caliper, it reads in one thousandths of an inch on the bottom and one one twenty eighth of an inch on the top. But for today, we're just going to go over the one one thousandths. Inches so one thousand one one thousandths to one inch. So that means that if you look at the scale here, I'll zoom in on this here for you guys. There we go. You can see that it is a scale of zero to twenty five on this bottom scale and it reads in one one thousandth of an inch. This top scale reads in one one twenty-eighth of an inch. So there's 128 divisions in this inch on this scale and 1,000 divisions of an inch on this scale. So this of course will be way finer and this is mostly what mechanics uses this scale here. Um, okay, how to read this. I'll take this one out of the way. And you see the bottom scale, it's in one inch is divided into ten. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one inch. And this scale is divided into twenty-five increments. So if you look on this first part here, every division or every line is one scale, length of this scale. And that's how you'll read all calibers of this style. So 25 one one thousandths, 25 one thousandths is equal to the first line. So from zero to the first line is 25 or one of these scales. From the second line to the third line is 25 of these scales. Third to the fourth, 25 of these scales and so on. So if you're zero, lines up with the zero, of course it's zero. If, if you move it along to the first line, if the zero lines up with the first line, you'll have 25 thou, 25 one thousandths of an inch. That would be, if you were to write it, it would be 0 0.025. So let's try that. I'll show you exactly where that is. So right there, the zero lines up with the first line. It is 25 thousandths of an inch, one thousandths of an inch, or point zero two five of an inch. The scale of 25 isn't counted right now because the zero lines up. If we go to the next line, which is the second line, that would be 25 there, another 25, so that's 50 one thousandths, which we've written point zero five oh of an inch in thousandths. The next one would be another 25, another scale of this goes into there, it's at the zero, so it's 75 thousandths, 25, 50, 75, 75 one thousandths of an inch, or 0 0.075, we go one more, that's one, two, three, four times 25, four twenty-five is 100 one thousandths of an inch, or zero inches, zero point one zero zero would be the way you would write it. If you advance along here to the two hundred, so it's twenty-five for every increment again. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight twenty-fives is two hundred. Two hundred one thousandths of an inch. Of course we already have the two there, so we don't have to count it manually. So 200 one thousandths of an inch. And as we go on, 300, 400, 500, see the zeros lining up with the 5 on the bottom scale. Don't even look at the top scale. Look strictly at the bottom scale. Sorry, I moved just a bit there. Okay, now we have to take into account these 25. I'll show you how that works now. So if we go back to zero, 
it's zero. So zero, 1007 inch. So I told you every increment here is one scale this, or 25 one thousandths. So when we read this bottom scale, if it's less than the 25, see now the zero doesn't make it to the 25, then we go, refer to this bottom scale. So we now we look at which line lines up on this bottom scale. So the one is zero is passed. We're just looking for a line that lines up. The one is passed. The five doesn't line up with any. Six doesn't line up. Seven, no, no. Ten. Ten, oh, ten is really close to lining up. Let's see. The nine is passed. The ten, oh, a little bit passed. Eleven. Eleven, a little bit past two, twelve, perfect. So twelve lines up. We don't care what these numbers are saying here, we're just reading the bottom because we know that every increment over on this side is 25 of these. So it's under 25, so now we go to this scale and we say the twelve lines up with a line. So now it is twelve one thousandths of an inch because it's under the 25. So you would write that point zero one two of an inch. So it's 12 one one thousandths, 12 one thousandths of an inch. So now let's go to the 25 and past it. Oops. Uh, okay. So now the zero is past the 25, so we count the 25. It's the first 25, so one of these scales is in. And we're to the 25. So that's 25, and now it doesn't line up with the next one. It doesn't make it to the next 25, which would be 50. So we go to this bottom scale and we look for what lines up. Zero we know doesn't line up. Five doesn't line up. Ten doesn't line up, it's still before it. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen is it. Or possibly sixteen. Veneer calibers you kind of get within a thou or two. So it's not totally that accurate, but it's close enough for most quick things. So we're gonna say that the uh, I would say the 16 lines up best. So now we have 25 because we're past the first line, but it doesn't make it to the second line, which would be 50. So we go 25 plus 16. So 25 plus 16, 35, 40, and 1, 41. So 41 one thousandths of an inch. So 0 0.041 of an inch. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. So now you can read any measurement there. Say we put it up to here, we look at the zero. So what do we have here? It's first line's passed. The zero lines up with what? It's past the three, which would be 300,000, right? 25, 50, 50, 75, 100, 200, 300. Are you counting? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, 25s are 300. And the zero is past the three. So now we have to look at the bottom scale. So we know it's 0 0.300. If the zero lined up with the 300, or with the three, so it'd be 300 one thousandths. And it's past the three. How much is it past the three? Well, we have to look at, see which of the bottom lines lined up. We know the zero is past. Five is past. Oh, 10 is the other side. Uh, Lines up. No, ten is past two. Sorry, eleven. So the eleven on this scale lines up with one of these lines. So the eleven we keep in track, and it's three hundred plus the eleven. So three hundred and eleven one thousandths of an inch. So point three one one of an inch. Zero point three one one. Now if we extend it all the way till it passes the one inch increment. Remember, we're not looking at the top scale. This is a different scale altogether. We're looking at the bottom scale only, the one one thousandths. So let's go over to there. Okay, let's go. Let's go a little more. Let's go here. So now we know the zero is past the one inch. So it's one point something now. It's past the, the one inch. So now we read. After we pass the one inch, we read the scale again. And when we went, when we made it to the one inch, we realized that it's past the 1,000. So we have 1,000 1,000s, which equal one or one inch, plus 
whatever we go. So each one is 25 plus the one inch, 25, 50, 75, one, 100. So we can go to the twos, 200, 300, 400. We're looking to where the zero lines up, 500, 600, it's past the 600, it's past the 25, it's past the 50, but it's not to the 75, so it's before the 75. So we have one inch point six twenty five fifty, so point six five oh, and then we have to look at the bottom scale to see where it what lines up. Five, it's past the five. Uh, I would say the fifteen is one of the closest one, so fifteen lines up with a line, so we go back to the zero. 625, 50, so 650 and 15. So 650, 675, I'm, I'm sorry, 665. So 665 thou, so it's 1.665. And there you have it. Now you know how to read a veneer caliper in the 1 1,000s. One we'll do another one in the 128th next video and then we'll go to metric. See you later.